Hey y'all, today we're going to dive into the world of natural remedies with two fantastic DIY recipes. The first is a lemon bomb bug repellent spray. Here's my lemon bomb. And the second is a jewelweed itch relief salve. These simple homemade solutions are perfect for anyone looking to stay itch free and bug free the natural way. Okay guys, so for the lemon balm uh, bug repellent, we need the lemon balm leaves, witch hazel, um, and then you can do essential oils. I have tea tree and eucalyptus here. They're optional, but make it smell nice and also repel bugs. Then I have um, the spray bottle put at the end, and this is what it's going to, the witch hazel and the lemon balm are going to like marinate in, um, because that's what we're gonna have to do first to sit set those together to make a tincture. So that is our lemon balm. Let's get it going. So like I said, we're gonna make a tincture first and I'm just gonna use this jar and we're going to put this lemon balm. I'm gonna put the stems in there too. It says leaves, but the stems also have the juices of the plant in it. So put that lemon balm all up in there and then we're gonna cover it with the witch hazel, and then it's gonna sit for one to two weeks. And I'm gonna shake it up once a day to really get those. And I'm gonna mash this too to kind of get it more, like the more juices flowing out. Hazel is pungent. Which Hazel? Which? This was a old remedy of my grandmother's. She used it for bug bites. She used it for sunburn. It has like a cooling effect, and also it has a strong smell. I could see why a bug would not want to be near it. So this is gonna sit for a couple weeks and stew, and make my tincture. So the lemon balm has been um, sitting for about one to two weeks. I'm gonna strain out that lemon balm and pour the liquid into a spray bottle. And then I'll add a few drops of the essential oil for extra bug repelling power. So here is my witch hazel um, tincture. It's been sitting, witch hazel and lemon balm, and I'm gonna pour some carefully into this precariously large funnel and strainer. drops of tea tree and then I'm gonna put the lid on this give it a good shake up and my bug spray is ready I'm gonna let this keep seeping so I can replace that later it'll be stronger all right so for the jewelweed itch relief salve which is I've made this before and I made a video before and it's so popular Everybody who I gave it to is like, I need more. I really made it for poison ivy, but it works for uh, bug bites and all kinds of things that itch. Heat rash, they put it on lots of things. So for this, we're gonna use um, olive oil, the fresh jewelweed, I just went and picked some. Um, we're gonna have beeswax pellets. This I'm gonna use to put my oil in when it's after it's um, infused. And then this is what we're gonna put the salve in when we mix it up, these cute little tins. Okay, um, you can also add essential oils to this. I might add some itch soothing ones like lavender. I also might add some of my plantain or calendula oil to this as well because I have some of that saved. Um, so let's get making it. All right, so I'm gonna, the jewelweed I'm gonna be cooking and infusing into the oil quicker. So I have it in this glass and the water. Now we're going to put the oil on top. We're just going to let it cook down for a few hours like this. With the oil 
on there. I'm going to mash that down a little. Put this on. Kind of medium to get it warmed up. And uh, cook out all that goodness into the oil. The jewel weed. Really, the stem even has more of the sap and goodness in it, especially like these big, it has like these big um, hearts on the stem. They're really good. They have a lot of the good stuff in there. So I definitely had those added into this. Just gonna make sure it's all mushed down into that oil. I might add a little bit more oil. And it's kind of in the double boiler here. I'll let that cook for a while. So my jewel weed has been cooking down for a few hours now. I'm going to strain out the oil, which has, should have all the good jewel weed goodness in it. Lo, can you get me a spoon? Oh boy, that jar is full. You could do three to one or four to one, so that's oil more oil than beeswax. I'm going to start, I'm going to put my beeswax in because I'm only doing one fourth of that. And then we'll do, we'll do um, three to one, maybe a little extra. So that means, assistant, can you put this in the sink? There you go. So that means if I do three to one, I'm going to do three of these because I, or a little bit more. So let's see. We got one of jewel weed. Ooh. That one has like dregs in it. One. Two. I'm going to do half jewel weed. And. half plantain oil, which I have in here from before. Then we're going to put that on the double boiler and get that um, beeswax melted up. Alright, getting this melted down. Pour a little of this water out. There we go. So that's gonna melt down. Alright, I got that water going pretty hard. I need that hard, I just need to melt up the rest of this beeswax here. Okay, so this is done and melted, so I'm going to be lifting this to bring in here, and we're going to leave it off the heat for a little while, because I don't want to add in those essential oils quite yet. I want to pull off a tiny bit. Add in, I read lavender is good for itching, and peppermint sometimes has that cooling effect. So we're going to add that in there, and then we're going to pour our jewelweed salve into these cups. I have more oil so that I can make more. I didn't use it all. So that's cool, and this is pre-made, so next time when I want to make it, I can just melt the beeswax in, which is awesome. So I'm going to add in maybe 10 drops of lavender. One, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that's okay. And probably about the same of the peppermint.
Uh, so both of these remedies are not only effective, but gentle in your skin, natural. Um, this lemon bob, lemon bob bug repellent is perfect for when you're going hiking, camping, outside, all those things. Um, it also will quell the itch even if it does start itching and then you get the spray. And it smells natural. I love it. And the Jewelweed Salve, great for any itches, bugs, poison ivy, anything that's bugging you, you can take a little swipey and smear it off. So they're both awesome. Um, so there you have it. Natural homemade remedies that are easy to make, incredibly effective. Check it out guys, try and make it yourself. Comment below if you've tried either one of these or if you're going to try them. I'm about to take them on my camping trip to test.